Breaking news. Politicians play Nigerians like Ludo. They are all on the same side. Oni of Ife tells Nigerians, don't be deceived and think that some of them are standing for you. If you want to know the truth, they all meet together in parties and you will wonder if at all there is any form of discrepancies within them. Why are you the common man on the street? You are fighting somebody because of these politicians who do not even know your name, using you and at the end of the day, dump you like a pack of cards. You know the way when you open a pack of cards, the way it drops without even, you know, and you'll be wondering, you have to now start picking it up. That's the way they destroy the life of common man and woman on the street. Most, who, who, most of whom they've used as political talks here and there. Most of them not even get, they never get joy inside them. They don't care what thing happened to another person. Only of people said, Nigerians be wise though. These people have no, they don't have love for you. Don't think that um, they are different. They are all the same thing. They are all the same people. So if you're thinking one of them is different from the other, you may be making a huge mistake. And at the end of the day, you find yourself feeling very disappointed. There's no need to feel disappointed. Really, truly speaking, there's no need. They are all the same people. They all stand for the same thing. They all do the same thing. So if you think that you have a different person among them, oof, excuse me, you've just been played. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Politicians are playing Nigerians like glue do. They are all in, they are all in it together. They are all the same. Oni of Ife tells Nigerians. Politicians are playing Nigerians like Ludo. They know what they are doing. The Vanguard has reported. Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, said Nigerians should be wiser by now and not allow politicians to use them, to derail them or push them against one another. Politicians in Nigeria are all the same. The political parties are the same. The challenges you think they start serving, they start serving one another, they are playing, you think they are playing genuine politics, stop it. Think about it logically. Is there any guarantee that any of them really wants to improve the state of the nation? How many times have they promised and how often has this promise been materialized? This is as he pledged to pray to his ancestors, to touch politicians in the political class, to touch their hearts so that they can change towards loving the people that they are sworn an oath of office to serve. They are playing the Nigerians, and Nigerians should not be gullible anymore. Be wise. Make your decisions. Take actions because you are sure that is what your heart is saying, rather than being driven around by some people who call themselves politicians and never really means well for you. Oni disclosed this at his Ile, Ile Odu Palace before heading into a seven days section to commune with the gods ahead of Olo Oluje Festival. So the Oni of Ife has said, well, people should be wise. There's no need to deceive ourselves. There's no need. Many of these people do not care for Nigerians. They are after their own. Mm, they are after their own. What they are doing is not because they want to enhance change in the country or they want to do anything worthwhile. It's sad, but it's happening. It's happening because if you look at all that is currently going on, Diony is very correct. I know that he might be speaking. This is me just inferring in relations to Femi Fani Kayode. You know, Femi Fani Kayode was in his palace recently. That's Femi Fani Kayode for you. He's everywhere. And you think that you've got, I mean, you've got somebody on your side who you're working together, the same purpose, mission, and you'll be shocked and surprised that the person, you know, is actually collecting from you. The person comes with a, with, it com it comes with a mission statement, and that is to understand where, where you're coming from, understand your loopholes, and take it and use it against you. Go back to tell those whom he is uh, his taskmasters and tell them of your weaknesses, of your loopholes, and at the end of the day, you are left hung and dry and porous. Yeah, you are, you're being left out in the, in the open. That's one of the finest things Femi Fani Kayode does best. He does it without even stress. He does it very well. People, you know, no longer trust him. 
especially with the latest move, Nigerians feel very disappointed. And guess what? He's the one telling Nigerians that, ah, they've not looked very well. Buhari is very good. Ah, Buhari is a very good person. Nigerians are just the one. They are just being over... They are, Nigerians are overreacting. They should come off it. Eh? They should come off it. They are overreacting. Buhari is a very good person and he means well for Nigerians. This is the same person who once said over his dead body, probably is dead and is regenerated. You know, he's alive. He's dead and is back alive. Yeah? So this is the same person who said, well, uh, if uh, Nigerians must... Nigerians must understand that Buhari is after the Igbos, is out for revenge over what happened between 1967 and 1970 and, um, you know, all that is happening. He will give you analysis and theory and when you look at it logically, you can see. Since he joined the party, have you seen any tweets from him other than he's going to people's house to eat? He's going to people's house to eat. That's what Femi does better. Food. And what happened to what happened to Iso? Is it not the same food that you know that cost him? Was it not the same food? You see, food, eh? Food. If you don't have control, it can destroy a man of food. So if you look at it, it's all happening. It's all happening really fast. Politicians, you know, playing Nigerians like Ludo. It's not a uh, propaganda, it's the true reality of what is happening. It's the true state of what we are experiencing. And so everybody, all hands must be on deck. Everybody must rise up to the occasion. What is happening is not acceptable. And that's why we must continue to ask God for help, even as we cry out, even as we speak out. We can't be silent. No, we can't be silent. Being silent is a position of oppression. But rising up and saying, no, this is not acceptable, you will see the difference. You will see the difference yourself. So what do we do? We don't allow anyone to intimidate us. We rise up. We say it as it is, and everyone, you know, air out their voices and let it be heard. Because the current predicament and all that is happening is a clear indication that Nigeria must move forward if we remain as one. But how? Things must change. We can't continue with the same, you know, with the same uh, uh, position and just expect that things will change dramatically. You know, we must do something. One of them is praying, another one is speaking out. If we don't do any of those things, we will see that um, at the end of the day, we'll be at the losing end, which is not a good position. So leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.